It's two people who are bedraggled. That's a new show, bedraggled people, your friends. Who said uh, who said I'm bedraggled? I ain't bedraggled. I'm not bedraggled. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm not bedraggled. Get out of here. I don't want to. I don't want to be parading around like some fucking wheat piece of shit. I'm bedraggled, man. That's what I am to you. I'm fucking. I'm just. I'm just a bedraggled piece of garbage drifting around hither and yon. Would you rather be bedraggled or besnaggled? Which one makes me a weak piece of shit? <laughs> okay, besnaggled uh, uh, makes you uh, adorably feral. I think feral. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like a horny cartoon dog, like a saber toothed tiger. That's adorably feral. Oh, well, where is your adorable spectrum begin and end? If that's on the adorable I, side, well, I don't know. You go. You, What's you, fearsome? It's a saber toothed tiger. <laughs> uh, like there's only so many beasts that make the cut from bygone eras, and it made the cut, but it wasn't because it was adorable. It was because it killed. Do you know what? Uh, I don't know if we've ever talked about this. One of my very earliest memories, I think it was four or five years old, when it was when we lived in Southern California, and I remember going to the La Brea Tar Pits, and they, you know, they had saber tooth tiger thing and they had all the all the creatures that got in the tar pits but the thing i remember the most is being terrified of like they they have this this pump it's just filled with the tar and you would grip the handle it's like the world's worst butter churn it's like this is just your arm being stuck in the tar this one's your leg and i remember as a kid not even being able to lift the leg at all and uh uh, uh, and then later, Tommy Lee Jones noticed that there was a volcano underneath the the, the uh, La Brea, La Brea tar, pits. tar pits. Yeah, thank God he did that, man. It could have been so much worse. Did did, did did you do you? How much do you remember of that movie? Nothing. Oh my God! I don't remember any because it was that and Dante's Peak, right? Yeah, I, that I, came I, out at the same time. That was in that era when two movies like Noah. Right. Would, would would bring two movies with the same uh, conflict to uh, uh, summer cinemas each year. That's still still the case. Uh, when hacking the system was being made, somebody made hack my life. Uh, but the, um, uh, oh my god, uh, it's amazing that that's your go to. Oh, oh no, I'm just saying it's even more recent. It's it, it's not like that ever. But went that was weren't summer blockbusters no but i'm saying those were television still, shows that yes. were being made in mass it's the most recent example i could access sure yeah okay about something different uh that just happened to involve you hollywood yes that's why i remember it should okay what's a better example I'm not the one looking for examples you're the example man i i was saying you're okay. mr example I was saying that one uh, of Batman's greatest rogues gallery, Mr. Example. <laughs> um, I was saying that uh, 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 I I did not see Dante speak. I it felt like you had to choose a side. Like you were either a Deep Impact or an Armageddon. Yeah. And and uh, hey, I, that's an example. I I was a <laughs> I was a uh, you had to pick a, a like father like son or a vice versa. Uh, although. I guess I, I, yeah, no, on cable, vice versa, one, but uh, but but uh, volcanoes, hilarious. It's great. It's great. So what is the plot? Uh, the La Brea Tar Pits are a volcano. Go on. <laughs> and so a volcano erupts in the middle of Los Angeles, and uh, Tommy Lee Jones, being a FEMA badass, is at one point he's like, "What are those? What are those concrete dividers called uh, during construction?" And and someone says, um. Uh, concrete dividers, sir. He's like, give me a bunch of them. <laughs> and so, and you know, let's lift these and pull them, pull them up. And and criminals and cops working together to create a dam to stop the flow of the lava. Of lava. Yeah, and from just, the volcano. And then the 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 very last scene is it it pans back and it pulls out and it it gives I don't know you know Los Angeles volcano stir, current status uh, and it you know letter by letter. A C T I V E. 
uh, the end. So the volcano wins? Well, no. They contain the volcano. Because what, what, are you going to stop a volcano? Yeah. It's a movie. <laughs> with, with if Vin Diesel was in the movie, he just would have punched it. And it would have knocked it off. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Tommy uh, Lee Jones is a real puss in boots. So, uh... <laughs> I, I I I know that being at the DNC is it just all a bubble? Do you read any other news while you're? I mean, I guess you're busy covering the news, but like, well, one part of it, I don't know. News quiz me, see what I know. Okay, did you know that in a I believe a Wall Street Journal exclusive, they uh, uh, German uh, intelligence claims that they solved the mystery of who blew up. The Nord Stream, the Nord Stream pipeline. Two pipeline. Indeed, I did read about that because somebody wrote into "We're Not Wrong" for a "We're Not Wrong" live show. Uh, salute to all the awesome people that came out to our "We're Not Wrong" live show on Sunday. Uh, uh, I did a whole thing about that. I actually did a deep dive on that. Uh, well, not as it was it deeper than two hundred and sixty feet. Considering uh, there are people who believe that the story that the Wall Street Journal wrote about is f totally fucking fake and not possible. What? Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, I would say. Uh, okay, well, now I want to hear. But, so the reason why I came on my radar was because we had mentioned that there was a report by a journalist by the name of Seymour Hirsch uh, about a year and a half ago that said that the Nord Stream 2 pipeline was blowed up by the CIA as directed by the President of the United States, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. And... Then the Wall Street Journal writes this, and somebody writes in, it's like, well, now that we really know, are you going to take back that you mentioned this thing that happened two years ago? And I was like, well, you want to know what? Let's do a little journalistic analysis for the people. So I went, and I read the Wall Street Journal article, and I read the Seymour Hersh article again, uh, just so I could see, all right, Venn diagram, whether or not you agree with one or the other, what are things that they both agree on? And, and maybe we can kind of suss out some sort of middle ground. What I found out is that they don't agree on shit, like, <laughs> at all. They don't agree on anything. The only thing they agree on is that the Nord Stream pipelines were blowed up, and they were blowed up from the same place. Uh, other than that, there ain't a whole lot of uh, 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 overlap between those two things. And part of the reason that I believe that is is because about a month after Seymour Hirsch wrote his article, he wrote another one saying... The cover story the CIA is trying to push uh, doesn't make any sense and literally listed the entire like chain of facts that the Wall Street Journal reported about a year and a half later uh, as reported uh, as apparently I I investigated by German police. Uh, but uh, the, uh, which, by the way, if, if nobody's familiar with the story, that that version is basically a, a plucky band for only three hundred thousand dollars, a bunch of uh in two citizens and four military people pretended to be on a pleasure yacht and then just real quick just you know kind of slipped on down set some charges yeah and then uh well that was a fun ride and then uh then and then it blowed up and uh Zelensky did know about it the reason why if you're not familiar with all this is is that uh uh if indeed the United States did it, it is kind of an act of war, an illegal act of war against Russia. Uh, so Zelensky did know about this, is according to the Wall Street Journal. Zelensky did know about it. Then he said, no, don't do it, because the CIA talked to him and said, you better not do that. We heard about this Nord Stream 2 pipeline thing. And he's like, okay, I'll stop it. But he couldn't stop it. So in the Seymour Hersh article, they talked about how this cover story that the CIA was floating didn't make any sense. One of the people that he quoted was like, it's there as a parody for people that don't actually know the logistics of how you would do something like that. And you know that it's not true because you can't dock that boat in waters that deep. So you would, it would be incumbent upon the divers to find the exact point that they were looking at, which considering how deep it is and how short of a time you can be in the water would be functionally impossible. Like it, nobody would do that realistically. Uh, so that is all to say both stories are rife with uh, uh, sources that are not named. 
And so choose your own adventure. Uh, people familiar with the matter. Yeah. Yeah. But all right. I got it. One for one. Okay. Quiz me again. Um, we're live, by the way, for people asking if we're live. That was the that was the main story that intrigued me. Uh, the, what oh, do you think oh. happened? What do you think happened on that boat? Well, it's no pleasure cruise, as Queen sang. The uh, the biggest the, the biggest thing is that matches with the story is that uh, the the uh, the alleged whatever the ge the the general guy was given an ambassadorship somewhere, which mm. would make which would give him diplomatic immunity and and you know they couldn't get him. And then meanwhile, Ukraine doesn't doesn't allow extradition from their own citizens in their own. Country. So nobody has publicly admitted to doing it as uh, opposed to just doing unnamed sourcing. Uh, and the one person who says that they were uh, or would theoretically have been in the chain of command cannot be prosecuted. Uh, yes, that's we go. that's that's a OK, fine. I, 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 I man, I, I feel like I'm swinging and missing in here. No. <laughs> Why, what do you mean? I'm I'm you're not swinging and missing. You're 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 tossing up some grapefruits and I'm crushing them. <laughs> I'm fucking at it. I'm, it's out of here. Like like Babe Ruth. Uh, you know, some people think he was black. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll, I'll bite. Go on. I just that's it. No, there ain't much more to it. But some people just think that uh, uh, he was black. Now, do they think that is? Is are they just mistaken in the thinking of Jackie Robinson? No, Babe or... Ruth. No, no. <laughs> it's it's just a uh, you know how would you know that he was definitely not black when all the pictures were in black and white. <laughs> Well, well, of those two colors, he seems to be more. He could one. just be light skin. <laughs> you do. You don't know. Go look up some pictures of Babe Ruth, some okay. black and white pictures of Babe Ruth, and then you tell me whether or not it's possible. Okay. Are they black? A new game by Brian Brushwood. No, don't, don't, don't you label this black or game. not? <laughs> Real black or fake black? A Brian Brushwood experience. <laughs> stop, stop putting my name on this. Okay, Brian Brushwood <laughs> presents. Well, I don't know. I don't I'm know. the black judge. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I see a lot of wrinkles. That that seems like that'd be difficult to that pull off. That it's cracking. Yeah, which we have heard does not happen. That's that's correct. Mm. So you've looked at Babe Ruth. Yeah. And you've determined that he is not black. Although in this photo, well, he, yeah, no, yeah. All right. You've made your judgment? Yes. Okay. Now, next, Kamala Harris. Uh, oh, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. We'll be you, right you, back. You, you, you want to talk about Two and you, two. No, no, no. <laughs> Fucking, you want to talk about a Babe Ruth called shot? <laughs> <laughs> you had that one. Oh, god damn it. Oh, shit. Call me fucking bedraggled, yeah, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Well, what else? What, are, what else is going on? Do you have, do you have, do you have, uh, uh, that, do you say, are we through our topics or do we have more topics? Um, uh, oh, I, I wanted to talk to you about like last night. Uh, I mentioned something about Grok to Bonnie, and she's like, What is Grok? And I'm like, it's, mm. it's the AI that doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. And uh, in fact, people in the chat, give me some good examples of, of Grok giving zero fucks because I found I found a thread. Uh, I, I don't know where it is, but somebody has, has collected it on the internet. And it's <laughs> there was one. I don't want to have to hold up a photo, but it says here's a photo of Kamala Harris uh, preparing for her her uh, the DNC, and it's she's got a wine bottle, but it is like all the way, yeah, <laughs> uh, down her throat. So yeah, uh, uh, Grog is the Twitter AI engine. It is the uh, uh, a part of X AI. Elon Musk's foray into artificial intelligence. And unlike other image models, they have decided to allow 
pretty much whatever you want. Like, like there's uh, normally barriers. I'm like, hey, we can't do images of real people. We can't do images of famous people. We can't do images that would obviously, you know, clash with the copyright. But if you want to say Super Mario in a thong smoking a blunt, you can just get a picture of Super Mario in a thong smoking a blunt. Uh, uh, they have maybe they are going to start giving more shits as the legal letters come in, but right now they are uh, they are they are out there. They're uh, 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 yeah. Here, here we go. This is here's them uh, respecting copyright. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so here, here here we go. Oh d- uh, yeah, that so, is that is uh, Mickey Mouse <laughs> in Nike shoes with a lightsaber. Uh, uh, standing with uh, Super Mario holding a can of Coke with another lightsaber. <laughs> All of it very... And I'm just going to imagine that his shoes are Tim's. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I want to see what else people got. <laughs> Here, here's one of a TV image with a Chiron that says THC, totally cool now, with uh, Mickey Mouse depicting depicting it however all the mickey mouses you could you could claim are just high fidelity steamboat willies well but also it's like have we basically just realized that creativity naturally goes to the position of novelty shirts at a beach t-shirt shop like because that's pretty much what we have gotten as people realize that uh we can run free from copyright well, I, I think part of like the Disney thing is that they generally had a piece with some of those on the street just because it was good enough advertising that they just kind of didn't give a lot of a fuck for. Wait, a who? Who didn't? Disney, like Disney, and like certain novelty, like Mickey and like Disney property shirts. Uh, uh, uh that's like, that's like, for the beach t-shirt shops. Yeah, like they generally had a bit like of a safe harbor sort of thing, just because it was enough of a pain, but also enough free advertising that it just kind of created a weird, mushy neutral ground. Is this like a like a story? There's like a, like a story about this, or is this just like word around the campfire? Hey, Justin, what do you want an image of? Oh, Super Mario smoking a blunt, wearing a thong. Okay. Yeah, like a real banana hammock, European style. <laughs> Okay, but, make it so tight you can see his pubes. <laughs> Smoking blunt. Well, yeah, wearing a thong. Well, is Mickey furry or smooth skin? Like that's that's a legitimate question. Uh, yes, I got it. Is uh, oh, oh, I guess it's doing AI stuff. Nope. I, I think know. you. I think you're in the wrong section. Yeah, probably. I, I I only used it on on the app, and chased other other people's stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Well, here somebody th- somebody throw us a link in the in 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 the chat, and maybe we can get it. Uh, we can get it that way. Yeah, maybe we could get me banned. <laughs> what? No, it's allowed. I know. It's all allowed now. I know. What do you? What did you want to see? Have you made any fun ones? Uh, uh, I, I mean, to be honest, I just want to see uh, everyone else's creative uh, stuff. They, a lot of political stuff. I mean, obviously, mm-hmm. this is the season. I, I, it's really weird uh, to open up the newspaper and just be all like, just please don't be politics. And look, I understand. Yeah, but. But, Good point. Uh, Not a lot of people are saying that, and I think more need to. I, I uh, oh, there was one that's uh, the prompt was it just said "dem titties" and it was just <laughs> <laughs> yeah they were behind a bra, but it was just hyper realistic. Just dem titties. Dem titties. It was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they're gonna have to change it? Are they gonna get shit for it? Because I think w- w- obviously everybody had a lot of fun with it when this first hit, but then people were like, "Oh, they're going to get sued." And it's like, I don't know. Like, are you just encouraging people to sue everything on DeviantArt? Like, like there have been fan art sites forever that have done exactly this. Look at this. They they have a little slider that says "fun mode." Uh, interesting. Uh, Grok to beta. There you go. Uh, if in fun mode, um, can you create? I guess I'll say, uh. Create the actual picture. See if it if it likes that. 
I must remind you of the guidelines. I could generate a dividend, but there's a rate limit. And uh, I mentioned you could ask next All right, hold on. Is it doing it? Okay, let's consider your next. It's lecturing me. It says, however, creating the executive you described might venture into content that's a bit too spicy or against typical content policies. Instead, let's pivot to something of like. All right, take out the part about it being so tight you can see his pubes. No, that, I didn't even get to that. Oh, you fucking coward. Nah, it's cool. All right, I'm going to write. I'm going to do it. I'll it's text cool. It to you. This is just for fun education <laughs> <laughs> got it let's visualize an image no no i want to see the actual image no no make the image maybe i don't know how to make an image for reels Oh, 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 it's happening. It's oh, it's going. Here we go. Oh, all right. Oh, no, that's just a picture. That's of just a regular ass picture of Mario. Mario in a whimsical fun scenario. Uh, 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 Give him a blunt. Uh, yeah, yeah. Add him smoking a blunt. Oh, oh there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. And then see, I guess you have to go face by face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now make him wearing a European style bathing suit. <laughs> now put him in a European style <laughs> bathing suit. <laughs> the tighter, the better. Uh, oh, actually, I'll just see if we'll do that. Here comes the image. Yeah, I guess you got to tease it. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> now make them black. <laughs> no. All right. If you say no, you are the judge. The <laughs> judge of blackness. Uh, 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 let's see. Um. Who, should he be fighting so, or who should join him? Oh, uh, have him uh, add Snoop Dogg. This <laughs> is <laughs> here. Uh, let me let me see if I can. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> you 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 want to describe this one? Yeah, uh, uh, it's a uh, 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 Mario's got dem titties. Uh, <laughs> the previously mentioned dem titties are on Mario, but Mario has a very aggressive look, and Snoop Dogg. Uh, uh, I don't think Snoop Dogg, even when he was that age, looked like that. That is that is just a very handsome in shape black man. Uh, okay, all right. Oh so. my god! <laughs> so, all right now. Uh, um, <laughs> hey yo, the blunt. Oh, and, oh, and the blunt is floating <laughs> off to the side. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Have them both smoking. <laughs> let's let's make sure that all these go up in the uh, uh, Discord <laughs> so people can see them. <laughs> oh, oh my God! <laughs> so now Snoop it, looks uh, a you know little what? bit more like you, Snoop, you but, your, but Mario wish. is just another black guy, and uh, you said make him black. <laughs> yeah, he is. that's true. It's true. Black uh, Mario. Uh, make Mario. Make Mario more Italian. Stereotypes, please. <laughs> 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 well, wait. Well, that's uh, apparently the stereotype is the actual Mario. That's I think we're going backwards in times. That's fine. Yeah, Mario is holding two blunts for the record, one in each hand, and uh, he looks thrilled to be doing it.
uh, make Mario ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we get? Boy, this is nice and fast, uh, and I like I like that little. <laughs> Man, they are really committed to giving Snoop abs. <laughs> I like that they're wearing matching chains too, and Mario's is just a little smaller. Put them uh, <laughs> uh, in front of. <laughs> Twin Towers. Okay. <laughs> well, we knew we'd get there, didn't we? Time to 9-11 much? <laughs> we'll see. Oh, oh my God! God! <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm calling it there. Stop We're not... Are you sure? Yes. Yes. <laughs> We're going to stop it right <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me, let me, no, no, no! I just want. I want to. No, I, I don't. Gotta go out on a high. Don't milk it until it's dry. I, I, would you let me finish my sentence? I'm gonna frame it so that they can, it looks good in the Discord. Okay, good, good. <laughs> That's the. It's got to zoom back a little bit. Here we go. Oh my God! <laughs> Are you, there's not just a download button? Uh, well, but that's something I'd have to do. Uh, I'll, I'll figure that out. <laughs> <after the show. laughs> there we go. <laughs> when are you gonna get that as a tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> wow. that's an amazing image. <laughs> so for the for the audio listeners, Mario has no shirt but suspenders. He is holding a very weirdly shaped blunt up in the air. Uh, uh, the uh, Snoop, who is consistently about 25 years younger and in peak physical condition, and does he looks he is Timu Snoop uh, uh, is is mean mugging the camera as indeed the twin towers as they did on the day with the bluest sky, September 11, 2001, are smoking in the background. Uh, oh, so okay, all right. So, you, you want to start a new one? <laughs> Patreon.com <laughs> slash Great Night is where you need to go if you want to support this show. We uh, we did a bones, right? Yeah, we did a bones. We did a bones yeah, on we Thursday. We did a bones. Yeah, I don't know. It's been so hectic with the travel. I I, I always I, I think I, yeah, we did one together. Everything. Yeah, and then yes. uh, and then. Uh, did, and then we did a weird things, and then did you leave the next no, day? No, no, we did a World's Greatest Con that day, and then the next day we also did a World's Greatest Con and a Weird Things. Yeah, and, yeah. But, and then you left. Okay. Then I left Saturday. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's been a whirlwind. Anyway, uh, patreon.com slash great night. Head on over there right now and subscribe to get that bonus content, baby. And bones. Bonus. Like it's it's like a a whole extra episode. For the record, people have been asking in the chat. No, my daughter has not been born yet. Uh, I did leave the DNC early, mostly because my uh, the OBGYN that has been shepherding uh, my wife and also me through her pregnancy. Uh, has been she's kind of been the referee for my career and my impending child. So like when I wanted to go support Darren in Vegas, I was like, "Hey, where are we at? You think I can be in Vegas for two days?" And she's like, "Yes, I think you can be in Vegas for two days." And I'm like, "Okay." Then when I told her about the DNC, I'm like, "All right, it's like out on Saturday, got a live show Sunday, and then it would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for the convention back Friday." And she's like, "Ah, <laughs> six days," and I was like, "Oh, less, <laughs> less than six days." And she's like, "How about you come back Tuesday?" And I'm like, "What? I think yeah, I can do that. I, I have a place to go. <laughs> I think I can do that. So that's why I'm back here. Uh, so that does mean no baby yet. Labor Day is the due date. Uh, the wife is indeed very pregnant. 
But it also means, Brian, Uh-oh. that we are getting ever closer to the funniest birthday. Uh, but which which is? I'd like you to refer to the picture. Will you never forget? Uh, oh, oh my God! <laughs> Imagine that on her first birthday cake. <laughs> Oh man, she just needs to be eleven days late. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, wait, what's your, what's your guess on on the odd sheet? Because we have Vegas odds happening. Um, you know, I don't want to give any kind of uh, inside info, but I will say that there is no inducement date as of now. That does not mean that there will not be an inducement date at some point. I, I have a suspicion that they're probably going to want to put one on the books. But uh, right now, the baby's traveling south. I can tell you that. Slowly but surely, worming her way down. Uh, I, does that mean doing the, the, the flippy upside down thing? Or, or, or does it actually move down? I've, it's, been, it's been 11 years since I've been around. In this for, situation? Yeah. <laughs> To, uh, today I was playing, uh, uh, ironically enough, uh, Super NES games with Callie. <laughs> well, you should ask her. See what she was up to 11 years ago. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so the baby is already upside down, which is good because you don't want them to be the opposite way. Um, and uh, they slowly sort of just like move naturally, like lower and lower in the 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 uterus and then uh you know the head eventually hits the uh cervix and that kind of dilates yeah. a little bit and then whop baby's wow. out and it just and it's just just easy just just like just like a greased watermelon i watch whop. all right so we have a doula a doula is basically like a pregnancy coach for people who want to use silly words and uh <laughs> She's very nice. She's great. We really like her. She's like, hey, you need to watch this YouTube video of a woman giving birth because I don't want you in this situation having not seen it. And I'm like, well, number one, say what you will about Florida public education, but we definitely had to watch like a video of an old hippie in the 70s, and that camera was like, straight down Broadway <laughs> like a, a baby just fell out of this woman like you would see an elephant at the zoo right like it was it was full on Discovery Channel so I'm like I've seen it before but I will watch this one because she thought it was very important so I go and I watch it and uh, it's blurred what? <laughs> what? they get to the part with the vagina because I'm not going to use other words we live in a society that demands uh, specificity. Blurred. Blurred vagina. How am I supposed to understand what this is? How am I supposed to desensitize myself to this when I'm just getting a blurred vagina? The one thing that was very clear was that uh, uh, when the, the, the baby came out, they just kind of uh, uh, threw the baby right on the mom's chest, which is something that is a uh, regular protocol. But for whatever reason, it looked to me like somebody just like at behind a deli counter weighing a pound of shrimp like it just was like whop. it's like hey real quick bond bond go uh man uh i'm 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 excited for you it's gonna be it's gonna be a thing uh did you cut the cord on uh, any of your daughters i did uh, as i <laughs> not only did i cut the cord with uh uh callie I immediately tweeted Tom Merritt and said, Tom, Tom, hey, guess what? I, I cut the cord. Because mm, the podcast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, did you catch the babies? No. Was I was told at a We're Not Wrong meetup in Milwaukee that uh, uh, somebody was like, you, you need to catch the baby. Wait, wait, well, I mean, somebody, I agree with the sentiment that somebody needs to catch the baby. Well, no, that, that the baby's first touch would be that of the father's. Uh, why? Because it's a primal thing. 
Yeah, okay, you're going to eat the placenta as well? Uh, I mean, look, you're the one escalating this. I'm just saying <laughs> well, that's, that the that's, first that's... touch should be that of the father. Uh, yeah, That okay. So are, are, are you going to catch the baby? Fuck no. <laughs> no, I'm not going to catch I mean, it. It's, it's, in, it's, it's like, insanity. They, well, like the moment... Maybe the... I will, though. I don't know. I don't know how late in the game I can make that call. Like, I don't know if I have to lock in my answer... Uh, uh, on that now or if like I don't know if I'm feeling like like oh this is going to be great I'm going to catch this baby uh, then then maybe I will I don't know but but I, I have no desire to necessarily do it I think I'm going to get enough time with this child that I'll be able to imprint on it that I don't have to literally put my fingerprints on it well I, I to you know in my experience every time and we went to the same hospital so maybe it's not this way any, everywhere but it was like a F1 pit crew. It was just like the moment the baby was out, it was like measure, take a blood, and in about 25 seconds, uh, the baby was in Bonnie's arms. So I don't know that I was I was not given the opportunity. I was I was I I, I was not qualified. Don't worry, this is a safe space for men. Yeah. Let me ask you a men's question. Mm. No, I, 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 I'll answer it. They Having have had this that process died. three times. Yeah. Is there any part of you that kind of wishes that it was still a situation where you were just nervously pacing in a uh, waiting room and then excitedly get your back padded by other male strangers and then smoke cigars? Uh, no, not at all. Not it, at all? Well, uh, uh, yeah, the first, the first one was, <laughs> but Bonnie was, was like, uh, oh man, we're going natural childbirth. No epidural for me. We got this. We got this. And then, uh, and it was, you know, a long time and it was very difficult. And then she finally was just like, okay, I'll take the epidural. And the epidural happened about 20 seconds before the baby came out. Mm. <laughs> and then uh, uh, it turns out that the subsequent uh, children, the uh, whatever scan, so there, there's like a blood incompatibility thing that, that said, well, it would be best if we induced. And we're like, yes, please. And it's like, yes, please. And the epidural. And they were like, showed up at 8.30 in the morning. Good to go, and uh, scan. We're out by five. Excellent. So uh, the, it was just like a day in the office. It, it was, and and because she was comfortable the whole time, it's like you know we're we're writing content, we're texting jokes and stuff. Like we, uh, uh, Bonnie had the, the these crazy you know cartoonish bug eyes, and so I'm like you know in the group text, text I'm like Bonnie's doing well handling the pain, and she's like ah yeah. So, but most most people probably wouldn't sign up for that out of the gates. So, you don't think that you could do bits with other men in the waiting room with cigars? Uh, I wouldn't want to. No. What I mean, it's, it's not personal with your wife, right? You're, like, not being there for that experience. I'd assume that that experience is pretty powerful. Yes. <laughs> but on the other hand, you can have your back slapped really hard by a bunch of strange men. But but unfortunately, uh, I mean, I don't know. I guess you'll 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 get some steps in as you pace back and forth. You have to smoke a cigarette and be all like, "Oh golly, yeah, uh, yeah." Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna like to say other words that we don't say anymore, like uh uh. uh you know, talk about the Kaiser. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, uh, oh, just my luck. She, she's going to. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, if you can do that, but you have to also not know if it's a boy or a girl. Because the, yeah, the door. Yeah, it's the other part, the right? Do the door has to kick open. And they're like, sir. They're like, yes, yes. And you're like, it's a boy. And then, uh, or. Uh, it, or it's yeah, no, yeah, it's it's a boy, and you're like, yes, yes, it's the good one, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah. good one. The other one's defective. <laughs> like, and then if it's a girl, you say like, oh, tag nabbit, and throw your hat down on the <laughs> on on the ground. And then if it's twins, you have to faint. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, you, you have, have to like, faint oh. if it's twins. 
Yeah. Like, uh, tw- 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 and, and twins. They're, they're just, and they're, there just needs to happen to be two people who are standing behind you who just what are able to catch you and then pull you back up. And then you, you also have to wear a fedora. Yep. Oh, everyone's wearing a fedora in this scenario. Everybody is wearing a fedora. And everybody. It's not just you smoking. It's everyone. Uh, everybody in the room gets a cigar to smoke when everybody, everybody's kid's born. So it, by the end of it, depending on when you got into the waiting room, you could have smoked up to seven cigars. <laughs> yep. I, uh, that, that, that tracks. You could have fainted. You, from cigars. From cigars. Now we know why, you faint. How, why people faint. Exactly. In old times. I don't know, man. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, Maybe I should recommend. I Look, there's a, a lot of asking of my wife what she wants. Oh, how are we tailoring this experience to you? What have I just pitched? Am I allowed? Or is it what I get canceled? If I stood out in the living or in, in in the waiting room, made a bunch of strictly male friends, and then eventually smoked seven cigars <laughs> uh, in a fedora. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you may have to repeat that uh, uh, because we lost the internet for a second. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> at uh, <laughs> as they find out the baby. Has been <laughs> born uh, as uh, uh, fainting in a waiting room in a 1960s, 1960s w- w- waiting room. <laughs> uh, while, while, while Brian cooks this, uh, cooks this heater up, uh, uh, we have a game. We have a game, but also before we get to that, we actually have a package. A package. A package. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, bring it over here to me. I'll open the package. Who is this from? This is from just another pilot. This is from just, just another, another pilot. pilot. Lots right. of good stuff. Also, apparently they go back. They go. They go back to making Mario Black in this. Oh, one. geez, that's a pretty good one, though. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Good fucking God. <laughs> okay, what, 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 what? What, what? We have another piece oh to the Jar God. Jar Gallery. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <clears throat> uh, uh, we are looking at, uh, you want to describe that? Oh, he's got a little dingling too. He's yeah. got a little dingling. It's, it's, it's taped over, but look at this little dingling. Uh, Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, are we allowed to show Jar Jar Dick on the stream? <laughs> Just, oh, no! <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> me so cold. It's, the, it's Michelangelo's David <laughs> in all of his gl- resplendent glory. There we go. I'll, 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 I'll put the sticker back on it, but it's going to show the stem. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, is that it? Yes, that's it. Okay. Wow. What an amazing piece. Guys, uh, 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 just so you know, the bit survives one more week. The <laughs> bit has survived one more week. And we'll keep on surviving. <laughs> as long as we continue to get Jar Jar pieces <laughs> for our Jar Jar gallery. We are the foremost Jar Jar art exhibitors and we will be building up to our big gallery opening uh, provided we can get enough jar jar <laughs> uh that one's pretty good <laughs> this one here can, nate can you bring that on over i want brian to just just oh, it's just, got a good it's got a good hand feel to it <laughs> so it does does it feel just 3d printed or oh no oh no this is this is fine fine work <laughs> I'm touching his buttocks. Yep. Yeah. Got. He's got. He's got a, a firm, firm little uh, uh, butt on him, huh? Oh. oh. I. It's a good. <laughs> that sounds like Mario. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> sure does. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, thank you, just another pilot. Uh, uh, go ahead. Keep sending those in. All right. What's our game? 
All right, gentlemen, tonight's game is called Objection. Uh, you'll be presented with four trivia facts that have been altered in some capacity. Your, call, your job is to call objection when you've determined which part of the fact is false and to correct it. Points will be awarded for calling out the false statement and another for correcting it. So uh, uh, I guess let's, we'll, just, we'll just dive in. We'll figure it out. All right. Uh, tonight you'll be playing for a prize. You will play. Oh, wait. Yeah, normally we don't get to find out. Uh, yeah, y'all get to find out now. Uh, you will be playing for an authentic piece of Austin uh, art. Uh, what is that? This is a piece of... Into the microphone, please. <laughs> uh, this is a piece of art collected several years back while I was uh, touring the streets of Austin, and I found a guy painting this, and I was like, great! Uh, so that was yeah, yeah. This is like this is like proto Grok. <laughs> he's he's just sitting there violating some some Disney copyright. Exactly. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Pinocchio taking a stroll down the street. All right, all right. Well, hit hit us with the and and these are ostensibly just a fact. Now, are any of them going to be completely true? Uh, they've all been altered in some capacity. Okay. All right. Ready. All right. And we have to we have to shout objection as soon as. We object, or do we get to hear the whole fact? Uh, that is up to you. But yes, uh, shout objection when you are ready to. That's that's that, that the winning the winning thing is to do it first. Yeah. yeah. All right. Fact number one: James Randi, born in 1928 Ontario, was a deeply respected member of the magic and skeptic community. He has a colorful background, once owning a pet uh, kinkajou named Sam, owning a dark blue 2002 Miata named Sophia, and traveled with the Alice Cooper Band. Among other things, he's known for breaking Houdini's underwater record at 104 minutes. Mm, objection! Uh, yes? <clears throat> I don't think he had a Miata named Sophia. Uh, that is your objection? Yes. Justin, do you have anything? Can you reread the, the things that he owned? Sure thing. The he once owned a pet kinkajou named Sam. Wait, say, say, what, what is that, those words? A kinkajou? Yeah. What, you don't know what a kinkajou is? I, I sure don't. Why don't you say it? <laughs> Why don't you say it slow? Because I already got got kinkajou. I already got got twice. This it's episode. easy to say. <laughs> I choose you, kinkajou. <laughs> Uh, I'm not trying to fuck with you. <laughs> I'm not. G Google it. <laughs> Google it. Just make sure that the screen is on there. Because uh, I want to see how you spell it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is a real animal. I, I it's believe. a lizard. Okay. I thought it was... Maybe it's not a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to say the kinkajou's fake. The kinkajou's fake? Yeah. Uh, gentlemen, unfortunately, both your objections are wrong. Brian, you were the closest, though. Uh, he did not own a dark blue 2002 Miata named Sophia. He owned a teal blue Miata named Sophie. Oh, Christ. the fuck, dude? Come on. Is, what are we doing here? Okay. Look, this is some valuable Austin art that we're being given. Yeah, we are playing a high stakes game. So it's like a, we got we we got to bring hey, our our, our best. Yeah. All right. Next fact. <coughs> Mr. Show with Bob and David was a sketch comedy show airing from 1995 to 1998 on the Home Box Office Network. The show lasted three seasons with 33 episodes, garnered a... Objection. Brian? Uh, they got a fourth season. Okay. Justin? I want you to keep reading. All right. Garnered a cult following... Uh, and due to its many revivals, once had a Weird Al Yankovic uh, making a cameo appearance during a 2020 reunion event. Uh, yeah, I I'll I'll say that the dumb fact that's wrong is the the year of the reunion. Uh, I, I, you know what? Uh, and also, I take it back. Uh, uh, there definitely was not a fourth season. And uh, okay, so, uh, hit hit me with it again. I'm I'm in the zone. Uh, Mr. Show with Bob and David was a sketch comedy show airing from 1995 to 1998 on the Home Box Office Network. The show lasted three seasons with 33 episodes. It garnered a cult oh, wait. Objection. Yep. Uh, uh, it wasn't 33 episodes. Uh, they had consistent round numbers. Uh, it would have been um, uh, 12 episodes per season, uh, so it would be 36. 
thirty six is your guess, and uh, that it had a fourth season or just episode it, or season. Uh, 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 j- uh, they they the number is. It's not, only the last one. It said they said they had thirty six episodes and not thirty three. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, your objection is um, the that it, that 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 it was that the reunion with Weird Al Yankovic wasn't in twenty twenty. All right, uh, Brian. I'm going to give you this point because you are close enough now that I, it can be argued. Uh, and they, in fact, got four seasons with 30 episodes. Uh, they actually did have the COVID reunion in May of 2020. Uh. They had 30 episodes across the four seasons. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, uh, man, uh, <laughs> I've watched a lot of Mr. Show. All right. Uh, next fact. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is a franchise originally based on Star Wars Tales of the Force Knights of the Old Republic comics published in 1993. The franchise is beloved by the Star Wars fandom and has spawned two other games from its original release in July uh, 2003. The series has yet to make it onto a Sony console. Objection. Yes. I think it has made it onto a Sony console. Um, it was a Bioware release... Uh, the uh, you you said two. I only know Knights of the Old Republic and Knights of the Old Republic two two. Unless you want to count the Knights, Knights of the Old Republic two with the new Kinkajou. Uh, with uh, unless you want to count the Knights of the uh, uh, or uh, Knights of the Old Republic uh, MMO. Um, uh, if you hit me again, your thing. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is a franchise originally based on the Star Wars Tales of the Force Knights of the Old Republic comic published in 1993. The franchise is beloved and the Star Wars fandom has spawned two other video games from its original release on July 16th, 2003. The series has yet to make it onto a Sony console. Uh, I, 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 it's going to be a date. Um... What were, what were the dates you mentioned? Uh, dates mentioned were 1993, July 16, 2003. Uh, uh, oh, wait. You're saying the, the game came out? In- July 16, 2003. Oh, oh, hold on. I think I got you on this one. I got you. It's not July 16th. It's like June 16th or something. <laughs> That is your objection? Yes. Justin, do you have an objection? I told you. Oh. The, the Sony. Ah, is, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, neither of you are correct. Uh, the comic it was spawned from was Star Wars Tales of the Jedi, Knights of the Old Republic, in 1993. So unfortunately, no points will be awarded. What 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 was the fake name that you gave us? Star Wars Tales of the Force Knights. Uh, yeah, see, I, yeah, I, I didn't know none of that. That was obvious in retrospect. <laughs> I feel I got I got egg on my face, man. I I'm fucked up, dude. I got. I'm the problem is I'm bedraggled. <laughs> That's my problem, man. I'm fucked up, dude. I'm bedraggled like a motherfucker. <laughs> my, my problem is I'm besnaggled. All right. We are currently 0-1. I'm going to um, give you all a choice. I have five questions written. We are at the point where we can have one more, or I can give you all the bonus question before we get to the final round. Keep going. I have two questions left. I said there were four. Okay. Would you like me to add in the bonus question or go straight to the end? No. We we got time. Go. We're doing doing a show. You know, you know. You know what people don't – when people pay a lot of money to go to a concert and Taylor Swift takes the stage, you know what they – you know what they don't start clapping and cheering? Let's wrap it up now. Leave. <laughs> leave. Leave. <laughs> All right. Uh, fact number four. Although I was close to doing that with Biden last night, man. They started that <laughs> shit late. They started that shit fucking late, dude. He was up that late? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He I, he did not – Jill Biden, you'll see it in the YouTube video. Uh, 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 Jill Biden didn't start speaking – or was still speaking at like 1030 local. Wow. Damn. Joe Biden did not finish speaking until after midnight on the East Coast. God damn. All right. Well, fact number four. <laughs> Late night Biden <laughs> starring Joe Biden. <laughs> Hunter Biden. <laughs> Ashley Biden. 
<laughs> and Wait. a cartoon by Robert Smigel. <laughs> Good Lord. All right. Since 1988, Nickelodeon has run a mock election every pre presidential cycle, which allows children to vote via phone and occasionally in-person polling. Wait, uh, go, go back again since, since what year? Since who? 1988. Okay. Nickelodeon has run a mock election. Wait, who? Nickelodeon. Okay, yeah, there we go. Here, you, you, you're allowed to read slower so we can actually hear the words. Got it. Nickelodeon has run a mock election every presidential cycle, which allows children to vote via phone and occasionally polling uh, venues. It was created for both comedic and va uh, comedic purposes and to engage children in understanding the political process. Since its inception, it has boasted a 95% accuracy in correctly predicting the winners of the presidential race. It is notable that it has remained largely sponsor-free throughout the years. Oh, it's not 95% accurate. That is your objection? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, my objection is the year. I think it started like 1986. Wait, wait, wait. There was a 1980. Nope, that's too. It started 1992. It started 1992. They, they, weren't, vote, they weren't picking between uh, Dukakis and Bush nope. in 1988. Nope. They were picking between Clinton, Clinton and, and, Perot, and H.W. And Bush. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my objection. All right, Justin, you win the point now. You have an opportunity for an even larger point sum. Fuck yes. All right. <laughs> Uh, it is not a 95% accuracy rating. Would you like to take a guess on how accurate it is? You can get another point here and surpass Brian. I bet it's 100%. Uh, all right, hold on. I mean, cause, cause how many times has a Democrat won? So, <laughs> Clinton. <laughs> Clinton. Uh, so two Clintons. Uh, it's not going to be Bush. Then two Obamas. Not going to be Trump. So I would say that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means that three out of seven, whatever that percentage is. I'll give it to you. It is 88% accurate. It only failed twice in 2004 and 2016. What? They, wait, wait. So it they, got they, they Bush went... in 2000? Yeah. Oh, kids were fucking pissed about Monica. <laughs> <laughs> It's a stain on the office. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For our <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm a late 90s kid voting in the Nickelodeon election. I think that we've been too soft on Al Qaeda. <laughs> I'm a national security voter. I can't believe, I can't believe. Why didn't Clinton punish Al Qaeda for the coal bombing. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, I can't believe that the, the kids went for uh, uh, John Kerry in 2004. Of course they did. They're fucking kids, dude. They don't know shit. <laughs> I swear to God, if I ever have a kid, I'm going to tell that lady immediately. You don't know shit. You're a baby. Like, you don't know anything. You're dumb. I'm smart. I'm a man. <laughs> All right. For our as soon as they plop that little blob on my wife's chest like a pound of shrimp, I'm just going to get right in her face and establish dominance. <laughs> All right. For our final fact, uh, worth currently we are two to one, Justin above, worth a total of three points at least. On April 20th, 2013, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young would release their second comedy album. Okay, the... hold on, hold on, hold on. Give, what was that date again? April 20th, 2013. Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young would release their second comedy album for the Night Attack program. Night Attack 2, Enjoy the Garden. The album would host 24 tracks with five being remixes. The album hosts delightful uh, bits ra um, ranging from memorable tracks such as Prez, Do Even Lift, Bad Rap and Hitler, and Talk Overlords. The album made number one on the Billboard. Objection. Yeah. Objection. Fuck. God damn it. Bad, bad Rap that, and Hitler that, was three. on Night Attack Live, the yeah. third album. All right. Brian, uh, you are correct. Bringing you up to. Wow, that means Katie and Brett have been married for over 10 years. They're, they already hit their 10 year anniversary because we took the picture for Enjoy the Garden at their wedding. Oh, that's right. 
In fact, that was the joke. Like when we kept saying because they got <laughs> their their reception was in and and their ceremony game. was in a botanical garden, and there was these signs that uh, we just kept saying to each other, "Enjoy the garden." <laughs> and it, when it came time to like come up with a like we liked the picture, but it's like, man, we got to come up with a clever title. And it's like, why don't we just have it be "Enjoy the garden"? Enjoy the garden. <laughs> it's just a fun thing to say. Enjoy the garden. <laughs> Justin, or sorry, Brian, with a whopping five points, you have won Pinocchio. God Yay! damn it! I, 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 I should ask uh, Grok. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. In, 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 in the style of an Austin street artist, please faithfully represent Pinocchio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> Gesundheit. Thank you. Uh, where can people uh, uh, see the pictures that we have uh, uh, created today and help with the games? You can head on over to bit.ly slash NA Discord. You can find us, anything we do, and you can find my little game chat at bit.ly slash NA Discord. Thanks, y'all. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, street art. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I, I, I ain't typing all this. Uh, fuck you, Grok. I, I, I almost censored myself, and then I remembered what fucking show we're doing. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to censor yourself, man. Don't ever let anyone censor you. Ever. If if if, if an adult censors you, yeah, you 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 tell a, an, another grown up. Instantly. You're allowed to pinch him. Yeah. <laughs> if another adult censors you, you're allowed. That's in the that's in the Constitution. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, and I allowed it because I don't want to get pinched. Uh, well, I'm sorry that we went eight minutes longer than, <laughs> than expected. Uh, do we have anything else? Well, I mean, the rest of our lives, really. Yeah, you, don't you know, know, like we're not gonna die here. We're not. This isn't gonna be the end of our lives. Like we're not. We're not here. Yeah, when we, we we're, not, leave, we're not. We're when, not condemning ourselves to death. Do you? Do you remember? <laughs> Do you remember when there would be these little PSAs that would explain to children, like, hi, I'm Richard Simmons. Uh, I'm little and tiny and in, on your TV, but you should know I'm not a real person. When the TV gets turned off, I don't die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> I forget what it was. It wasn't Richard Simmons specifically, but uh, but but there was. They had to explain to kids the. Uh, <laughs> oh, that television, that television was a broadcast medium and wasn't a place where actual people lived. Because because of course, uh, uh, adults are idiots and don't understand that. Whatever is happening is normal to a kid. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I guess that's what happens. <laughs> yeah. Let's try to find those. I want to, I want to make, I want to uh, option them for a movie. Uh, yeah. I'm going to option it. You're going to opt it? I'm, I'm opting. My optics are for options. <laughs> uh, man, what else? We got anything else? I guess, I guess that's it. I guess, I guess we got to we got but, but, <laughs> what I just you just like I think you're realizing that the show should end and that you should hit buttons but then you were just like ah, I guess uh, I, uh, uh. It's just funny. I laughed. You, you are, you were, you are somebody that brings me true joy. You know what? Uh, it's a, it's an honor and a privilege to be with you every Tuesday. I now I'm talking like I am gonna die. <laughs> like I shouldn't do that. We should be casual. All right. I just want to let you know that our friendship is something that I treasure, and uh, I would, if, it, if I were to die immediately, I hope that you'd know that. Uh, All right. I'm just saying. I'm not dying. Are you dying in a fire? I'm not dying. Nobody's dying. I'm not dying. Brian's definitely not dying, and Nate is not dying. I'm uh, mortal till proven otherwise. All right. I mean, I'm just saying. Uh, let us uh, never forget. This incredible that's, night. That's a pretty amazing image. <laughs> uh, uh, in fact, actually, if, if you guys want to, uh, in, in the Discord, uh, impress us. See, we, we could have a beauty. Grok it up, grok it out. Yeah, grok it up, and and maybe we'll we'll have a a, a, a beauty pageant, uh, and we'll be the judges. Yes, grok Gra 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 Bonanza. 
Rocco Bonanza. Oh my God, we get to go back to ad Adobe shops. Okay, there it is. See you next Tuesday. I had a fire. Been a great night. Woo! Woo! Diamond Club hopes you've enjoyed this program. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm salacious, Crumb. Yeah. Yeah, see? <laughs>